Simpsons. I've enjoyed The Simpsons since I was like younger. But um, cartoons aside, sometimes this matchup can feel like a cartoon matchup for Ape and Man. This is definitely one of those matchups he kind of wants to play. More of a zoner, but as I say that, man, Ape and Man always makes me eat my own words, man. He's just so good at being aggressive with Rob. Uh, that's what, and that's what makes him, in my opinion, a top four, top five Rob. Uh, with so many good Rob Mans. Uh, but also, Ape Man is just entertaining to watch. I have to always admit that about him. I mean, I like the character that is Rob, but Ape Man definitely makes me enjoy watching the character. Sometimes you hate the character, but don't hate the player, man, because the player's got some skill of his own. And definitely, Chuck e. Kong is in a league of his own with how good he is with DK. coming, Looking looking to get that top that top eight crown in first place yet again, because he was one of those players who did come out to MSM online and got a lot of first places. But, you know, Ape Man... He is the king of the top eights, the, the top eight man, as we like to call him. And he says, I'm going to hold this crown a little bit longer while you've been out there waiting. That's a throw, Ape Man. It's going to be really hard on the DI there because it's so hard to mash out off a of cargo throw at Hypersense. Honestly, cargo throw feels cheap in this game when every DK grabs out. But hey, I guess they earned it. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely agree that cargo throw is uh, very, very, uh, very annoying. Oh, using the down tilt to uh, just keep Ape Man on the floor, but I believe he was going to try to go for a backer there, but Ape Man, Ape Man got to it first. Using the up tilt and jab, sending out that gyro, and using the robo beam. Nice up smash to catch Chunky Kong, and using the up air. Oh, getting hit by that. Uh, oh, that's slap, death. And using spinning Kong. Oh, great DI coming out from Ape Man, using the backer to get closer to the stage and not have to use... His Robo Burner and using a fully charged Robo Beam. Yeah, you can see that Chunky Kong right now is trying to use that hand slap to uh, make it meteor. Oh, the the gyro Alright, just sent out another Robo Beam and sending out the gyro and the spike! Let's go! Ape Man with the spike. Yeah, he's been popping off these spikes all day. Wow, I mean. He's just catching people on ledge. He's like, oh, you you want to touch the ledge? <laughs> no. Oh, using the spinning Kong and actually not taking too much damage. He is un uh, slightly under 50%. So hopefully uh, he could try to do what he can to get this win. But oh, man, that gyro man. very annoying. What a what a corner setup from Ape Man. Because if that had gone all the way through, that would have been clean. Unfortunately, Chucky Kong has no slouch, holds onto that shield. There is the footstool from Rob, but I have, like I said, man, Ape Man is such an entertaining player to watch. He always has those setups with Gyro. He always has those setups to get you when you're at the corner, man. He never lets you out for free. And that's the thing here for Ape Man. I think there is, this is an even game. That's what hurts me to say the most. It is an even game. Chucky Kong just gets one or two interactions, and it'll be cursed for Ape Man's stock. And Ape Man has to do so much to get DK out of there. There is a back air, one more, couple more back airs, and that'll be it, but it's gonna be Ape and Man with his own back air taking game one man i want to go back to that setup ape man had at the ledge because jesus he was gonna send chunky kong on a run for his money but uh chunky kong definitely one of those players that like he's both of these players are just so aggressive with their perspective characters yeah i mean like i definitely agree like uh dk is a like close-up character and then as you could say as like and also like as we've been seeing um, Ipin Man is also very aggressive, so, like, they kind of both have to play a slight, uh, some close quarters with each other, and, uh, just try to duke it out, whatever, with, uh, whatever they can. But, let's get into game two now. Uh, I believe they're staying on the same stage. Yeah, I don't see them going for a, a different stage. Honestly, it's both, it's good for both DK and Rob. Um, so that it's kind of... I think the only stage I would argue might be better for Ape Man if you wanted to go for is probably Final Destination. There will be no platforms for him to run from DK, but DK will not have things like Ding Dong with platform extensions. So that's kind of one of those like trade-offs you kind of want to think about as an example. It's not indicative of the entire matchup. But for Ape Man, I think he is going to have to rely a little bit on his passive, oh, on his aggressive side, because Jesus, man, Ape Man does not care how you have to play the matchup. He will be out there, and Chunky Kong will definitely punish him for it as he gets that down special to the recover. That's the crazy thing about Chunky Kong. He will use that down B 
wherever, whenever, however he can, because that is literally the MVP of his toolkit. All right. Um, yeah, d definitely. Uh, Chunky the Kong right now is... Like a quick shout out to like the green cape 29. He says this is this is uh, for sure in Rob's favor, minus two, maybe minus two for DK. And I kind of agree on that. Well, the thing about matchups though is after a matchup is considered and weighed in, it's all about the player matchup because every player can play a character so different. Ape Bitman is such an aggressive Rob and Chucky Kong is such an aggressive DK. It's literally aggression versus aggression. My, like, but like I said, I, I always, I always, always have that bias for, for Ape Man, but I just, the setups that Ape Man does with his aggression helps him cover that. But unfortunately, that role wasn't an aggressive role, but we're looking to have a defensive role with Chucky Kong, and Chucky Kong had that spaced out so well. Yeah, Ape Man is so good at chasing you out, but Chucky Kong is so good at reading you out. It's almost like a matchup against one another of who is the better matchup for one another? Who is the one winning the matchup? Is it, is it the Ape Man matchup, or is it really the Rob matchup that's winning here? And that's what I'd like to see between these two players, that. Yeah, I mean, as you said, like, both players are aggressive, so maybe sometimes they might switch it up and, like, we go defensive, and that might catch the other person off guard. I mean, overall, Smash is pretty much just a mind game and a lot of strategy. Yeah. Um, Smash at times, I mean, the, the, my, like, I can talk about these players all the time, but, like, my favorite thing is, like, just Ape and Man's aggression is just so enjoyable to watch. His setups of some of my favorite but also then he plays this game like a chess game and chunky kong plays this game like a madman even though it's one stock a piece on both characters man you know chunky kong can take the stock right away he gets his opportunity not the full read that ceiling is a little bit higher compared to how it was the last game uh, ape man will be able to survive that that's the beauty about having the stage here is you have a higher ceiling Man coming out with double forwarder here, gets the cross up, unfortunately, in the down tilt. Chunky Kong will not falter. He will go for that grounded spinning Kong, and he will get that game from Ape Man putting up game three. Oh, um, that's the best Donkey Kong winning screen right there. The best Donkey Kong animation. That one looks like one from uh, like Mario Party, I think. I feel I feel like it does look like, it, like one from Mario Party. Yeah, you have to agree that this that this winning animation for Donkey Kong is the best one. You ha you have to agree. I hate, I hate, I hate DK, man. Any, any, any DK winning is upsetting to me. <laughs> I, I, you, you ask me which, which one is the best one, I'll say none of them because I hate them. But. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But yeah, uh, let's get into this third game, uh, 1-1. One, one. Um. Ape Man kind of struggled last game. I could definitely tell. And also, like you said, like, aggressiveness. And it definitely showed on this one specific part that caught my eye. Ape Man was on the right platform. And uh, Chunky Kong did not hesitate. He dropped down for the Angel platform. He sprinted as fast as he could and just started spamming back air, back air and spacing as much as he could because he was just since Ape Man was at such high percent, Backer could definitely get him into a huge disadvantage, disadvantage or possibly kill. Yeah, and oh, Ape Man, he said, you know what, Chucky Kong, you're not the only aggressive player. Never forget, man. Oh, what a reversal there from Chucky, switching sides and switching minds, man. That's a back air and the stock. Chucky Kong takes the lead all away from Ape Man. I thought Ape Man was for sure going to take that stock, but Ape Man is looking for that final jump from Chucky Kong as he holds the trigger at the very last opportunity to recover. Jesus. I mean, dang, like, so that, was, that was rough. Like, Ape, Ape Man had the, the flow, like, he had his momentum, he had everything. And all it took was one giant punch and a back air, and it screwed everything up. Yeah, and man. also since Chunky Kong did have minor rage and getting him <laughs> by the gyro. All right, see, I like that little dash dance from Ape Man. That's how I know he's feeling himself. That's my favorite thing about like Brett as a player. Like he looks to get psych himself back into the game, man. 
and you can start you can see it in that movement there here a good opportunity to go for that jump there get away from dk as much as possible never go back to the scene of the crime man once you once you get at the robbery you just go away never go back Ape Man looking to get this aggression here as he gets that down there, looking for a confirmed center stage. He gets the cross up here. Chucky Kong looking for an opportunity to land. Reads the roll. Okay, Ape Man. You can see that Chucky Kong does not want to be at the ledge, and Chucky knows how Ape Man gets those setups too. I mean, yeah. Like like you said, the dash dance means he's filling himself. Like, yeah, he did get uh, he did mess up really bad and allowed Chunky Kong to take uh like take out his first stock, like just like that. But Eat, like just you just gotta forget it like the past is the past it's all about the future and uh the present so hopefully ape man can carry home this uh this third game and try to get himself into a better advantage and just uh he's just del uh delaying his recovery right there because you could see that chunky kong was trying to two frame him and possibly just trying to get rid of his second stock as fast as possible i mean that parry, like he went for an aggressive move right there, which is the dash. And right now, Ipin Man is at max. Yeah, he's at max rage right now. Hopefully, he can try to take advantage of it as much as possible. Maybe just try to get an, uh, a kill at around 90%. Getting hit by the back here, and oh man, that DI was not good. But he, uh, yeah, Chunky Kong has the giant punch, so Ipin Man has to be careful here. Like, I mean, he does have percentage lead, so. I mean, in the end, if he wants to time him out, he can. Yeah. What a downer from the gyro. Almost the neutral air, but unfortunately for Chunk, for Ape Man, Chunky Kong's back air will be the one thing that comes out first. What a great way to move after that last hit of that down special. Ape Man is definitely getting used to the Chunky Kong matchup for sure. Double back air. No confirm here for Chunky on the second one here, as he knows what that means at the ledge or off the stage, the side of the platform. Uh, Ape Man almost with the tomahawk grab. What a steal! What a steal! <laughs> what? Oh my goodness! Twice he st he stole two stocks, twice with giant punch. Like that's the one thing that I, I like. A lot of people despise about Donkey Kong is the giant punch. Like yes, you have to charge it, but my goodness, is it a game changer if they're able to land it? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! I, I like. I'm sorry. I know we're talking about Chunky Kong, but that's a really good comment there. If we come out the shower clean, how does the towel get dirty? That is the. Uh, <laughs> oh that, is, that is that is that is low key. I want to say this right now. That is that is a thought. <laughs> that is definitely a thought. Hey Vance, <laughs> Vance. Mm -hmm. You know how buildings have to be built, but do you ever see them building the cranes? Oh my god, no, I never do. I act, do, I I remember when I was in like elementary, middle school. They would whenever we would have like TV time. My favorite programming shows on PBS were was um, Reading Rainbow. My favorite, yeah, it was my favorite show, Reading Rainbow. Shout out to anybody if you remember Reading Rainbow. Because Reading Rainbow was so cool that he would read an educational book to you. And then he would take you on tour on, like, what the book was based on. Like, I remember there was one on construction workers. And then he took you to a construction site and you got to see everything. And I was like, that's so dope. Reading Rainbow was low-key my jam, dude. That was the best kids show ever. <laughs> Shout out to Reading Rainbow, man. That was such a classic show, man. But getting into the third game, hopefully... Ape, uh, yeah, I mean, Ape Man was feeling himself last game, but hopefully he's just got to stay calm and collected like you say. Uh, like, he's, he's always calm and collected with a good mental game, but... Is this this is a rough situation for Ape Man? I I don't think I've uh, so, uh, so far this tournament I have uh, on stream we have not seen him in uh, disadvantage games wise. So hopefully he can bring this back. Yeah, uh, it's not. I, I think it's like I think the chat is really good on what they're saying. Right, DK is bad, but he's got some stuff, and that's true. It's it's actually Chunky Kong. Who's got some stuff? Remember what I told you guys. After character matchups are weighed in, it becomes a matchup of the players. How each player responds to one another, how each player plays to one another on the setups, the reads, the ledge. Look at Chucky Kong just be so aggressive. He's not going to let Ape and Man wait him out. He went out there with three uppers, and he knows if he got that back air off the stage, he would have definitely took that all away from Ape and Man. Ape Man getting back to stage, as you see, he took it a slow and steady approach to make sure he didn't get uh, edge guard in any way, shape, or form, but he did get hit by the hand slap. Oh, the 
he somehow mashed out of the cargo th the the cargo throw. That was such a, I think Loki that looked like a mix-up from Chucky Kong. Even when he got the grab, that was an excellent tomahawk just to kind of be in around a bit man's face. Uh, really good stuff from Chucky Kong, man. Even though he's on... He's up to one, man. He's a little bit on the losing side on this game, but he knows he's still got all the stuff to pull out here. Uh, Ape Man with the up tilt. No confirm. Gets the upper here. That's not going to kill. That is a high ceiling, but Ape Man knows all I got to do is juggle the monkey, and he will be out of the trees and into the skies. But good stuff for Ape Man to be able to read that because, you know, DK has poor landing options. Aside from, like, going for armor on the side special. Yeah, the side special is pretty good with its super armor. And it can also bury, so it's, it's a pretty good move. I mean, actually, I just realized both of these characters have the ability of burying. Nice grab. They're gonna go for the up throw. Forder. Oh, he, uh, I, I hope. I believe that was a miss input. I think he wanted to send it up. Unless he was trying to read that Chunky Kong was gonna go downwards and try to grab ledge. <laughs> Can you imagine someone said DK is half cheese, doesn't play neutral? Can you imagine DK actually had a good neutral? Like, Jesus, that would be horrifying. Uh, oh, for Ape Man, he will read, he will play his neutral, and he will read that role because Chicken Kong does not want to be at the ledge, gets that up smash here, and puts a game five scenario between both of these players, man. I am not surprised this is going to game five. It is literally the king of the top eights the new king of MSM Online versus the former king, which is Chunky Kong. Both of these players have been kings of MSM Online, which indeed, fun fact, Ape Man holds the record of the most Ws of first place of MSM Online. I think Chunky Kong is definitely second or third alongside players like Ven. Wow. Like, these guys are, are record, uh, record holders. That's crazy, you know? Like, we've been doing it for so long. Like, MSM has been a thing for, I mean, MSMO has been a thing for so long that, like, we have records, you know? Mm hmm Like, that's kind of crazy. That's crazy, indeed. Craziness aside, uh, real quick here for the plug-in and the shout-outs to our sponsor and our partner, of course, uh, MetaView. You guys can check out all the craziness, not only from MSM Online, of course, you definitely support us here at QG Gaming. Uh, all the best Smash clips are in one place for you guys, available at the palm of your hands. You definitely download it now for free on the iOS store. But hey, if you want to be part of the action, if you want to join us on the action, consider joining us live here at MSM Online, whether you're watching on the stream at 7. Don't forget, it's every Monday, free to enter, NA only, starts at 5 p.m. PST. That's best coast, East, yeah, West Coast, Best Coast time for all you guys here. Let's get on to game five between 8-Bit Man and Chunky Kong. Uh, both of these players are out there for the W, for the money, for the gold, for the crown, you name it. It's everything you want between these two players. A lot of stakes. Yes, the stakes are very high indeed. Uh, I mean, this is game five situation. And as you can see, Chunky Kong did change his skin. Um, maybe, like, maybe he's just trying to copy uh, Ape Man's skin and try to go with the red, you know? Or maybe he's this is his secret skin all along. You never know. Oh, oh no. getting hit by the hand slap! My goodness, the hand slap is a very good move. I mean, it's multi-hit and it can spike. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and also, I mean, even grounded. Yeah, you could jump over it, but it has a it has a pretty big hitbox and it's all around Donkey Kong. So, or not all around him, but it's on the ground. So, I mean, he can't, it, 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 it can be used to catch people off guard. And that Florida is going to end off Chunky Kong's first stock. Getting hit by that Nair and the Gyro combined, bringing him up to 18%. Oh my goodness, that's the, that's, uh, that down air into a, a up smash. Did bring 8 Man's percent up by a lot. Up till up air. Okay, let's see how 8 Man tries to, uh, work with this. I feel like he could have gone... A forward air and up air and should not have gone for the tilt. I mean, he has rage now, so try to take advantage of it, but try not to go too crazy to the, or try not to go so hard to the point where it could risk him of dying. So see if he can get back up to stage. He does with the Nair to protect himself. Yeah, for Ape Man, he does a really good job of trying to take back center stage against Chunky Kong. Just because he knows I have a tool like Gyro and Laser, so my fight for center stage is a little bit easier for me. I am having those tools. That was rough. I'm 
thinking Ape Man let go of the shield in the middle of trying to get a grab or a read there from an area and Chucky got, got that up tilt? Oh, rough stuff for Ape Man. He was definitely close in that stock here. He kind of has to stay composed. I, that is going to be an up tilt. No up tilt. Up smash. He said, forget it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the kill trigger here and get that up smash because I do want this even stock, man. Even stock, even game. This is literally for the money, for the winner's side of the money, I would say. You don't want to be in losers. Man, Chucky got coming in with a toss. <laughs> And giving Ape Man a little bit of a taste of his own medicine, but Ape Man is looking to move around this stage as much as possible. Gets that roll, a little bit of a cross up from that roll. Gets the up tilt, no full combo. That is up B to escape, man. That is almost the ejecto seat of. Good use of the up air to rack up that damage. Right now, Ape Man is not in a good spot right Ooh. now with the. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, we got so lucky there by that miss input by Chunky Kong. Oh my gosh, maybe maybe the cards are on his side this time. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully luck is on his side and see if we can pull off this W. That was a mystery from Chunky too, because that honestly he tried to read that seeing how Ape It Man was might have gone for back for the gyro. Just where he put the gyro. What a parry, what a back air. Ape It Man with game five no, in his Ape hands. It. Ape It Man is on the scene, man, winning that 3-2 over Chunky. What an incredible clutch at that last second. It was clutch or kick, and Ape-It-Man did not fail to clutch at all.